Jeff and I would like to take just a few moments and demonstrate a couple of situational awareness applications, both at the national scale and then at a more local level with some data from ArcGIS server for the city of Louisville, Kentucky. First, we'll take a tour at the national level and see what kind of information we can bring into this web GIS. Here, we're looking at a satellite image from ArcGIS Online, and we've turned on a live precipitation feed for the US. There is a lot of publicly available feeds and content on the open web. We're now turning on a 12-hour probability forecast, which we can manipulate the transparency on and see that satellite image underneath a bit better. The green areas on screen indicate the higher probability for rain in the next half day or so. Another popular source of information on the internet is GeoRSS. Here we've turned on GeoRSS news feeds. Now we can connect to Reuters or CNN or the news source of your choice for your particular country or worldwide. I'd like to pause a minute here and emphasize that this user interface was built with the Flex API that's available now with ArcGIS Server 9.3. Okay, now we'll take a look at that city of Louisville, Kentucky. The same concept of bringing in live information feed off the internet at the national level can be applied here at the local level to manage emergency assets. We've turned on feeds to police cars, fire trucks, and ambulances to track their movement around the city. We can also add our own dynamically GeoRSS feed to helicopter units. As they're moving around the city, we set up the location feed and icon to track their navigation around Louisville. Don't forget, you can also add just standard real-time feeds like traffic cameras. Here we've turned on webcams for the downtown Louisville area. Check out the traffic conditions at the street level. Now this web GIS allows you to bring in lots of different content to connect multiple business disciplines, which is a requirement for an incident management system like this. I can see here we have a train derailment close to downtown Louisville, and according to the report, a tanker car is leaking potentially hazardous material. Using GIS means more than being enamored by flashy maps. It means doing analysis to solve a problem. So I'd like to ask Jeff to take a moment and explain from a GIS technologist's perspective what kind of analysis we can perform within this web GIS to solve this problem. The first thing a decision maker is going to want to know, the first thing a decision maker is going to want to know is what's the impact? To determine where this hazard, airborne uh, material is going to go over the next hour, we can generate a plume using a third-party modeling package called Aloha. Now, we want to keep people out of the area, so we can then buffer that plume to determine the hazard zone. We can use this hazard zone, or hot zone, as an input to another geoprocessing tool to determine where roadblocks need to be placed. The input to the geoprocessing tool is the polygon, and the output is the closest, poly or the closest intersection just outside of the plume. The demographics tool tells us who's affected. We've overlaid that polygon with the demographics using another geoprocessing tool, and the summary statistics are displayed here in the chart. This is telling us the number of people affected, their age, and also the vulnerability. Now, emergency managers have the information they need to make a better decision on the number and types of shelters they need to open upwind of the plume. Thanks, Jeff. So I have all of the tools I need within this web GIS to create actionable information to make time-sensitive decisions within this critical situation. Now, this common data picture can be shared with key individuals in the field through a mobile device. They can update their location, situation, and other pertinent information to this viewer to enhance this web GIS. In our scenario, an incident commander has arrived on scene and is establishing an incident command post close to the accident. She's updated her information through her mobile device, posts back to this viewer, and completes this common operational picture. Finally, this information can be shared by everybody through ArcGIS Explorer, providing a three-dimensional view of the same critical incident situation to be presented to corporate executives, city officials, the media, or the general public.